giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Breaking to the top five here, we're going to start off with Team 2910. From Mill Creek, Washington, and Henry M. Jackson High School, it's Jack in the Bot, 67-6 and six overall. And we're the winners of the Mount Vernon, Sun Dome, and Glacier Peak District events, and the Pinu Pinu District Championship. <laughs> 2910 went three straight district events as the number one seed, but ranked fourth at the district championship. They would, however, return to the number one seed during alliance selections, joining 2046 bare metal. And along with 2907, they would average scores in the high 90s, winning the district championship in six straight matches. So this is the team Tower's been hype about, I think, since Premier Night at least, but I think even until oh, last year, yeah. we talked about them as well. So what a season they've had. Um, good luck uh, in Houston to Jack and Bob, but Tower, what a, what a great season your boys are having. Yeah, I mean, I, 2910, I, I think I mentioned, was my favorite robot out of Houston last year. Uh, it really caught my eye. We talked to him uh, a, a lot later on. And just, uh, you know, we had him on last week. On If you didn't get an opportunity, by the way, if you want to get some really cool uh, inside on how this team operates and works, uh, Nick Cousins hosted a show last week called FRC Deep Dive, uh, where you could uh, – you can learn more about this team. Uh, really cool stuff on uh, their success and where they come. Because they, a couple of years ago, before that, honestly, they were a team nobody knew about. And they, they had this explosion just happen. And you can learn about what it took for to have them to do that. And if, if you're interested in having your team something like this, please go watch that because you'll learn so much about uh, what it takes to be a, a team that honestly was pretty low resource and just started to go where they needed to go. And and now one of the best teams in the world. And uh, I still think they're underrated at number five. Uh, I would have had them probably at, I think, number two on my list this week. Uh, I, it just looks so amazing. Like you just said, like an under, um, an under resource team. And I'm listening to that deep dive from last week. They excuse the train that's here. It's like literally goes in right behind our house. Um, they said like they they have such a small workspace and so many students that they actually have like a schedule of mm -hmm. when certain certain students come in and um and then you know then that's how they work it out so but it goes back to like Karthik's presentation from um years ago about you know you have certain many robot points and how are you going to use them you know are you going to devote um you know the less things you do you can devote more to them and that's like you know really evident in the robot that they have this year and uh just i love their i love just, the robot it looks like the video is fast forward when you watch them drive it, is yeah, it does right. yeah like, yeah right. like um coming from grabbing a hatch just the fluid motion that they, it's just like in this arc they just like arc right over to the right over to the to the um cargo ship and then just right back it's just so so fluid and so nice it's really cool all right so we got nine minutes left in this show it's not officially an hour and a half show but we like to keep it in an hour and a half under that <laughs> yeah that never happens <laughs> rarely um, but moving on, uh, in the top five, uh, in the fourth spot is Team 2056. From Stony Creek, Ontario, Canada, and Orchard Park Secondary School, it's OP Robotics, an overall record of an incredible 35-1, and one, and they were the winners of the Waterloo and the McMaster District events. Perfect 18-0 and 0 in Waterloo, OP Robotics looked to keep it going this past weekend. Eight unicorn matches in qualification, wow. um, and they would take the number one seed with an incredible 3.5 ranking score average. 2056 obviously just builds incredible robots performance wise aesthetic wise team wise um i'm just waiting for them to have like a so-so year you know because it's just really sometimes really hard to sustain this just dominance that they have but there's just no sign of that happening nor do i like want it to happen you know but you kind of sometimes expect it but um, nowhere in sight for them. So um, just excelling off the field as well. They would take home the double gold cling bling this past weekend at, at McMaster, taking that um, district chairman's award. Um, their team is just really class act and um, has just always welcomed Justin and I whenever we've been up there with open arms. Um, got to take a look at their build shop one time while I was up there. And it was just, it was just so great. Stan um, just says so um uh, just does really well with the team and they're just, they're just awesome. So another, um, amazing season for them. Um, we'll see them obviously this weekend at, at um, Ontario district championship and, uh, expect them obviously to do very well, but, uh, uh good, uh, congratulations to them. Yeah. yeah. And I, 
ahead, I had them at number three. I was going to say, and mm-hmm. and to me, absolutely phenomenal team. Uh, the, I mean, there's so there's so many good robots this week that it's it's yeah. uh, it, it's just hard to really place, but. Uh, Justin, I don't know about you, but I, I just absolutely love their robot this year. I actually think it's one of the more complex robots they built uh, because they've always been very much on the just simplicity and do it so well. And to me, it just it, it stands out and just exemplifies even more. Yeah, and the fact that it's complex, but they still make it look like oh, super yeah. smooth and simple is just a, a testament to their uh, design process and their team. But I, the, it's this to me, it's the, been the most consistent robot I've seen. I'm not sure that they've had a bad match. Uh, only one loss, <laughs> I think, is a, also a little bit of a testament to that. But yeah. um, they would definitely be a little bit higher on my list, like Tower mentioned. A lot of these teams in the top, really the top 10 almost, are fairly interchangeable. Um, but 2056 is... Uh, it would certainly be just a, and, a smidge higher on mine. Um, I mentioned it a, a couple of weeks ago when they appeared um, after Waterloo, but um, they just they play the game so smart. Like they they have a two hatch auto. Um, they like place the second one on maybe it is on the rocket, but then they they just wait for the car. They like choose to not put the hatch on the null hatch, waiting for yeah. the cargo just to pop out right to them, and then they can get the cargo the cargo right in the rocket before like you know barely the team can get a defensive team can get over the center line, and it's just they 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 play they, these games so well they really look for how they can maximize their scoring and uh, what they can do. But yeah, um, that that uh, sandstorm mode is is unbelievable it's mm-hmm. it's so awesome and smart and it's great to watch and that you know the tele operated hits and and they've scored you know more points than yeah three um, game pieces already yeah exactly and it's it's pretty much game over from then on out or so. essentially three game pieces yeah. yeah two almost almost a third it's been so. awesome to watch them for sure yeah all right so moving on to our third ranked team that's gonna be 33 10 from Heath, Texas, Rockwall Heath High School, it's Blackhawk Robotics, 46, 7-1. And, and we're the winners, the Amarillo and Greenville District events and the first in Texas District Championship. After two incredibly strong event wins and district plays, 3310 took their black machine to the inaugural FIT District Championship. They weren't perfect in quals going 8-4, and four, but their performance uh, statistics spoke for themselves. And they were, for the third time, picked to the number one alliance, this time by 148. And their pair of black robots, along with 3035, went 6-0 and oh to take the FIT District Championship win. Good luck in Houston to 3310 Blackhawk Robotics. So it looks like Blackhawk, 148, and the rest of these Texas teams are going to play their entire season in Texas as they get ready for Houston. But it's really going to be awesome, <laughs> um, awesome to watch. And it was really cool to see um, the All Black Everything uh, Alliance there with 3310 and 148. Mm-hmm. They were awesome. All Black Everything. <laughs> well, it looks like some people are a little surprised that they were number three, but I guess that's just the way the votes happen. That's why voting is so important. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All the dramas in the two spot. That's right. You love to see it. <laughs> uh, in that number two spot is Team 1678. From Davis, California and Davis Senior High School, it's the Citrus Circuits, an overall record of 47 and 3. They were the winners of the Central Valley Regional, Sacramento, and the Aerospace Valley Regional. And they also had a regional chairman's award at CVR. Um, so just another unbelievable season for the Citrus Circuits. This past weekend, they would look for their third robot banner of the year. They took the number one rank for the first time this season, and they would select friends, uh, 3476, code orange. And even though losing uh, semifinal match number one would bounce, wa- would bounce back and finish the regional with a win. There's not much left to say about 1678. Um, they're just just dominant. Thinking back to um, just doesn't seem that long ago. Thinking back to premiere night um, and just seeing the robot, you just know it's going to be like really good. But mm-hmm. then just watching them over the course of the season, how they play this game, taking home three regional wins with their their um, triple, their double buddy climb lift, and uh, man, they're just so so much fun to watch. And um, just watching them, like I kind of mentioned earlier in the show, watching them play through, watching them play through defense and still just excel is just. Uh, is just so much fun. So congratulations, uh, 1678, um, number two here, and we'll uh, be seeing them in Houston. So the question, and I think we've kind of uh, not avoided it, but I don't think it's been a huge topic of discussion. Maybe it has been on the forefront of everyone's mind because of the play we've seen everywhere else. But how much of a game changer do you think 1678's triple lift is? I mean, is it a world championship uh, you know, ace in the hole. Is it going to be nearly impossible to beat them because of it? Is it really that big of an advantage, or is it possible that they they don't win because of it? I I, I teams that could double um, uh, level three hab climb like we saw 148 and 118 were pretty unstoppable. 
uh, at times. Um, 33, 10, 148. I don't know how you beat a, a triple, a triple three level climb. Yeah. <laughs> the equalizer to me is that, and I think somebody posted chat. You know, 1678 isn't the fastest at scoring. Um, yeah. You know, during the rest of the match, but I think I, I still think they're an elite team by all means. Um, uh, the interesting thing is, is that they they don't do the triple every single match, right? It yeah. is very time dependent, and it takes time to get those other two robots up there. So if you if you figure that you're let's say you go against a double climb, right? You're a you're a triple climb robot against a double climb, and let's say the other robot goes on level two, you only have a six point advantage. So is the six points worth the time you're gonna take to get those two robots up on you uh to do that triple climb? Or even if it's twelve points, let's say it's six or twelve yeah. points, is the time that it takes to do that worth it? Uh I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh it really I think the interesting thing is, let's say 1678 makes Einstein, they're going to have enough practice with those robots to, I think, work yeah, and be worth point. it at that point where you can get it down to maybe a sub 10 second uh, to even get everything. So you get 1678 parked at 10 seconds, the other two robots come on and you climb in. I think if you can do it then, I, then I think it's unstoppable. But anything over 15 to 20 seconds, I'm not quite sure what the value uh, or if it's going to be enough value for something like that. And I think, I don't know what the answer is, but if it, it kind of, we do see just, the offensive battle um, and it just runs up to score or, you know, both, both alliances can just score at will versus through defense. I think that may, that may change um, the answer to this question. I'm not, I'm not sure what, what the answer is, but that could be, that could be a part of part of that answer as well Is what, what does Einstein look like? What does, you know, finals yeah. in their division look like and how will that matter? But yeah, it's really interesting. So, all right. With no further ado, um, our f- number one ranked team through week six is going to be team 148. From Greenville, Texas, Greenville High School, it's the Robo Wranglers, 50 and four overall. And we're the winners, the Amarillo and Dallas District events, as well as the first in Texas District Championship. Overhang stormed out of the gate to a tune of an 18 and 0 perfect performance in Amarillo. At their next event, they found only three losses, but were still able to rank number one and did not lose in the, in the elimination rounds to take home banner number two. This past weekend at the Fit Championship, 148 was all business, battling it to the number one spot with 118 all weekend long. They earned it by one ranking point, and they selected 3310 Blackhawk Robotics and 3035, and they went on to win the inaugural Fit Championship. So, congrats, to Overhang, and the rest of the Rubber Anglers on an incredible district season and good luck in houston uh i think it's going to be <laughs> it depends where divisions shake out but i you know as we've seen these teams get better and better uh in just the last three that we've talked about 33 10 16 78 148 and a number of other teams going to houston um i'm excited it's our it's our spring break uh for our school district so i don't have a lot going on necessarily so i'll just be able to sit back and you guys will be able to see it live mm-hmm. but houston's really going to be a show oh yeah for sure it's gonna be fun. Right. I can't wait because, like I mentioned last week, there's a lot of these teams I haven't seen, you know, in two or three years or something. So um, it's gonna be fun to see them all again. And like, I can't wait. Just want to give a shout out, by the way, the producer Nick, who's on uh, 148 for an yeah. awesome uh, win as well too. So congrats uh, to uh, Nick uh, and the rest of 148 for an absolutely incredible week and an absolutely incredible iteration throughout the season as well too to keep oh, the robot nice. improving. Yeah. Uh, so very cool stuff to see from them. Very cool. So um, that does it for week six. Just as a reminder, um, next week you'll be able to vote for um, any team, um, preferably, who is um, attending championship, um, either championship. So any Mm -hmm. any of these FRC teams um, uh, will be eligible. What we'll do is we'll take the top 25 Houston teams. We'll talk about them um, a week from today. I can't believe we're already talking about uh, championship uh, Hmm. top 25. And then uh, we'll take the top 25 Detroit teams and then talk about them the following week. So one vote for both championships, and then we'll go through that. But um, I'm really excited to see. I'm really excited for this weekend, and then really excited to see how, how um, the votes the votes pan out. For sure. So we do have the last uh, giveaway to do, so let's go ahead and do that from our friends playing with Fusion.com. Uh, and the winner of that is going to be uh, TNL Sharp. Uh, congratulations, TNL Sharp, who is a subscriber. So lots of rigged emotes in chat as we have rigged it uh, for that. Um, I also do want to make a, a quick editorial comment uh, as well, too, in regards to our calendar uh, coming up. Uh, so we will have uh, for FRC, uh, first off, uh, FTC, we are going to have, uh, if you're interested in FTC, tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, we have uh, uh, some uh, reveal robot videos that we're going to be showing. I think we got about like 15 or so uh, that we're going to be showing. So if you want to check out some cool uh, uh, teams in regards to FTC, check it out tomorrow. Uh, next week uh, at 
uh, starting at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, we will have uh, our week seven recaps uh, for region recap. So it's going to be a little bit different of a schedule. Uh, so make sure you check our Discord for uh, times. Uh, and then we're going to be doing an FTC champ uh, preview at 9 p.m. Eastern next Monday uh, for FTC once again. And then next week, Tuesday, starting at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, running until about 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, we will have our Houston championship preview show. We'll be bringing on region recap hosts to talk about the different divisions, uh, where the teams are going to lay out, who their favorites are, that sort of thing. So once again, that's at 7.30 p.m. Eastern uh, until 9 p.m. Eastern. And then at 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, then we'll do the FRC Top 25 next Tuesday. So lots of stuff still to come on First Updates now. Hope that you join us and check out these awesome shows. Yeah, I uh, look forward to all those. Very cool. All right, so um, did we do the – oh, yeah, we did the, did the giveaway. So, yeah, I just did um, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, cool. I was um, answering – Got lost in the chat. <laughs> Happens to the best um, of us. Yeah, I do want to give a shout out to Sean. He sent me this um, 1720 hat that I'm sporting tonight. Very cool. Nice. Thank you. Um, so we have some more um, events this weekend. Um, we have Chesapeake District Championship, MSC, um, the Ontario Provincial Champs, and Indiana State Champs. So anything, Tyler, Justin, that you're looking forward to more than one over the other? Or kind of be going to be watching all these on uh, on game day? Yeah, I'll try my best to watch them. Uh, I'll probably be watching Ontario the most. Uh, I'm just so excited to watch uh, uh, Symbotics and OP Robotics battle for uh, another uh, provincial championship, but also uh, obviously the Michigan play is going to be crazy as well. So a lot of great robot uh, events to watch this weekend. Yeah, yes. I think my eyes will mostly be on Ontario and MSC, I think. But, you know, of course, New England District Champ, uh, Chesapeake, mm -hmm. uh, and MSC's Indiana all running, too. So I think I'll be just kind of, like, hoppy. I mean, the, the the problem is since MSC and Ontario had multiple streams, uh, I don't know if uh, – I can't even pull the Octo stream and get all of them because I think <laughs> yeah. it's nine going at the time. Two, three, four. Yeah, so just keep a just keep a lookout in chat. They're uh, they're really good because what's great is so many people are in chat um, from different parts of the the, the country and the world. Um, people are watching different events, so they kind of keep you uh, in tune of which matches that, that are coming up or whatever. So uh, I agree, Tyler, probably sorry. MSC in Ontario. But. Sorry, comment Tyler should should MC Division of Houston been there done that many years ago? Uh, not sure if I want to do that again. It's uh, <laughs> I would much rather, you know, uh, Mike and I will be at both champs, uh, not with a team. I'd much rather do that and go hang around in pits and talk to you guys yep. and do that sort of thing uh, and, and okay. hand out cool stuff and do behind the bumpers interviews, which, by the way, I'm two weeks behind on. So sorry about that. Uh, but those are things that honestly, like uh, MC is cool at championships, but like the way that's structured now, I don't know. It, it, it's not the same. And uh, I, I definitely love just, you know, hanging out with our fellow hosts and just going around and doing cool stuff like that. Agreed. Agreed. Where do we find you at champs? Uh, everywhere. <laughs> so I'm wearing your eyes open. <laughs> yeah, I'm a six three, very big, tall man with a spinny hat that says "geek" on it. I stand out pretty well, so please come and play. <laughs> Agreed. And again, say hi. It's, we always say it. You know, you know what we look like. We don't know what you look like. So uh, make sure you come say hi. All right. That's it. So the uh, wrap up the show. Thanks everybody uh, who has watched. And of course you want more first box in your life. Hey, just tell people about what's going on here at first updates. Now we'd love to have uh, more and more people uh, tune in more and more voters, which we keep getting. Uh, but uh, you know, we love people. Uh, if, of course, if you will support the stream in regards to uh, bits and donations, we're completely community supported and rely on you for that. Uh, and, uh, us as hosts, uh, everything goes back into the program right now to just kind of make it bigger and bigger. That's what we focus on. Uh, so we definitely appreciate it. But otherwise, just tell people about what's going on. If you want to get back and you don't you don't have uh, money or cash or don't want to, please just tell people about what's going on as well. Real quick uh, uh, read off of everybody who supported the stream because uh, we're running late on time. So I'll be as quick as I can. And sorry if it misses anybody in the stream last spot. Uh, Yankees fan 2002 at the prime sub. Uh, J.I. Brizzo, you with uh, two months of support, Kyle's before plows <laughs> with the prime sub. Uh, Matt, IW, uh, NL, four months of support, says can't wait to see all the Houston championship. Uh, Vartek, uh, Perv with the prime sub. Hummer uh, with the tier one sub. Uh, Cyberdead with uh, three months of support. Uh, 
Let me up. Sad that it's a senior year uh, for him. So but much more to come, I'm sure. Uh, Captain America 76 tier one sub. Mario Man 95 tier one. OMG Robots 2, 19 months of support with some biddies as well. Uh, Faulty Impulse, four months of support. Thank you. Uh, Dalton ZBT with the tier one sub. Uh, Rogue Muggle tier one sub. Uh, Jillson's tier one. Uh, Katafi with two months of support. Thank you. Xbox Assassin with the tier one sub. Nicholas 71, five months of support. Uh, Sean uh, from 1720, 15 months of support. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Colonel K865, six months of support. Thomas 1746 uh, with uh, uh, a big bit war with Hey, it's Leo going back and forth with a lot of freaking bits, guys. Thank you so much uh, for that. That's, that's absolutely freaking awesome. So, uh, but Taz app uh, with the prime sub, alt pseudo, 11 months of support. Uh, Brandon uh, Diaz, 3310 with the prime sub. Thank you. Uh, Any Schwell uh, with two months of support and Caltran 2410 with 27 months of continuous support. Holy crap, oh, Caltran. Says, awesome, amazing show tonight. Can't wait to see how the game shakes out at the championship level and neither can we. Uh, so very cool stuff. Uh, don't forget to join the over 1,600 people in our fun Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And you can find us under at first updates now on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And on behalf of myself, Mike, Justin, our producer behind the scenes, Nick, uh, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from the bottom of our hearts and thank to all of our moderators and chat. Can't wait to see you next time on First Updates Now. Talk to you then. Good night, everybody. See ya. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.